is all the news all the time and my name is Adam and uh, we've got some interesting news coming out today. The question is, do you want to live in Johnny Depp's house? Yes, you do. But it's going to cost you $40 million. How many $40 million? There they are right there. That's a lot of cash. So uh, what do you get for $40 million? Well, it's uh, the million dollar mansion in Australia. Gold Coast. See, I've got to walk around going, all right, mate, uh, is in Australia, where Johnny Depp lost the tip of his finger, is officially up for grabs. This is from the uh, Mail Online. And it it's owned by the former 500cc motorcycle world champion by the name of Mick Doohan. Let's have a look at him. There he is. Uh, so he owns this house. Let's have a look at the house. That's nice. Sprawling property known as Diamond Head. 10 bedrooms, 10 bathrooms. Why do you want 10 bathrooms? And 18 hectares of land. Look at that. It's got a pool. It's got loads of pillars. Uh, Mick, <laughs> of course he is, 57, bought the property for 1.7 million in 1996. How many? 1.7 million. Now he wants 40 million. He does. He wants 40 million. But he bought it for 1.7 million in 1996. Renovated it several times over the years. He's, he's having a laugh, this guy. Um, in 2015, Johnny had the tip of his finger severed during an argument he had with Amber Heard, bless her, his partner uh, at the time. Uh, he at least said as soon as mended. Um, he said he believed the digit had fallen into the bin. See, this is where I get a bit confused. He said that he believed the digit had fallen into the bin, but it was located inside, uh, beside the bar. Okay. Uh, private jetty they say, uh, provides access to the Coomera and Pimpama rivers, a landing strip for private planes. You've got some stairs, you've got a uh, you've got a pool, you've got 1.7 million. Um, he bought it, the motorcyclist bought more than $12 million worth of properties in Queensland. See, it's good to use the money that you get and actually invest it properly. Gold Coast home on Millionaire's Rome was the foundation of his portfolio featured a separate guest house and go-kart track see this is when we talk about a severed finger it's not severed is it it's like i mean the tip of it's damaged but it's not severed as such um and i was looking down here i have yet to see this severed finger it looks like he's got all of them that is correct barney rubble you can't fool him or fred flintstone uh who else we got here love johnny uh <laughs> ah is hiding in the bushes and perry coma he knows he knows the score you can't buy publicity this place got think about it it's up for sale and suddenly it's all over the papers uh wise words from that uh, person down there so uh yeah his fingers seem to be mostly attached so what else is going on south dakota uh tribes are buying the land near wounded knee this is another person taking a chance on uh, on stuff we've got two american tribes in south dakota have agreed to purchase 40 acres of land near the Wounded Knee Historical uh, Landmark on Pine Ridge Indian Reservation. To be honest, it doesn't look like uh, good land to me. It uh, just doesn't. So two American tribes in South Dakota have agreed to purchase 40 acres of land near this uh, landmark on this reservation. The Oglala, Oglala Sioux Tribe will pay 255000 and the Cheyenne River Sioux will pay 245 for the site. So what's that? 500000 ish and agreed to petition the US Department of the Interior to take the land into trust on behalf of both tribes. Why? I don't know. Indian Country Today reported, title of the land will be held in the name of the Sioux tribe. Okay, so that makes sense. The agreement ends a decades-long dispute over the land, which is the site of the Wounded Knee Massacre of 1890, in which hundreds of Lakota men, women and children were killed by US soldiers in an attempt to suppress the ghost dance a Lakota religious movement. Victims were buried in a mass grave in a nearby Catholic cemetery. Uh, Jeanette... I'm sorry, what? Beca <laughs> what is that? Come on now, you're messing about. Became sole owner of the property after her husband James died in 2019. James purchased the property in 1968. The, come on now, family operated a trading post and museum there until 1973 when the American Indian Movement protesters occupied the site, destroying both the post and their home. All right, let's, let's try, shall we? Let's try. Um, I sound a C and a Z is a CH sound, and a, a W is a V sound. So we've got CH, Y, V, CH, Y, N, S, K. Really? I mean, come on now. Uh, the 71... <laughs> it's 
like a cat walked after the, on the keyboard. The 71-day standoff left two tribal members dead and a federal agent seriously wounded, led to heightened awareness about Native American struggles and propelled a wider protest movement. There you go. The family moved away from the area and put the land up for sale, asking 3.9 million, how many, for the 40-acre parcel near the nearest the massacre site. Okay, so it's not even on the site. The land, including an additional adjacent 40-acre plot, had been assessed at 14,000. What's going on here? What is going on here? So the actual site itself, this plus this, is worth 14,000. And they're trying to sell it for 3.9 million. Right. So really, it's half the size. It's really $7,000. And they're trying to sell it for 3.9 million and they've actually sold it for half a million so they've sold a seven thousand dollar piece of land for half a million dollars <laughs> right okay uh, in 2013 film star johnny depp there he is um, announced a plan to blow, buy the property and donate it to the sioux tribe depp who played the role of tonto in the remake of the film lone ranger was criticised for trying to capitalise on the film, making unsubstantiated claims of having Native American ancestry. Depp did not follow through on the purchase, probably because this pricing is frankly ridiculous. And um, so is the name. <laughs> it just is. Um, so, OK, uh, let me know your thoughts and uh, let me know how offended you are by me uh, mangling that name. Come on now. Come on now. And uh, <laughs> uh, press the like button, subscribe button if you fancy it. And uh, I will catch you later.